Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here with Weather in 5, 5 Days in 5 Minutes. And coming up tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast, which is at 8 o'clock Eastern time tonight, we'll be talking about winter weather advisories up in northern New England, dense fog advisories in the Ohio Valley, the middle Mississippi Valley back into the plains, and heavy rains are occurring uh, across the deep south in the Gulf states. So we've got flood watches and flood warnings up and a series of low-pressure systems that will be impacting the east. The last one is going to come Sunday into Monday. So all of that tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. And there's your watches and warnings, and you see them there. Uh, Advisories for snow uh, up in northern New England. We've got the heavy rain. That actually is the bigger deal today, is the heavy rains from east Texas eastward through uh, Louisiana, Uh, Mississippi and Alabama, uh, and we've got a ton of Gulf moisture that continues to just stream northward. Sometimes it's it's better to have a well-developed low because you the system you know does what it has to do and then it moves away. But when you have a situation like this where it's just a series of waves one after another, no one system can clean house. So as a result, we continue to see this really moist flow uh, coming into the Gulf states. And of course, that has ramifications to weather in the Northeast. We had uh, precipitation overnight into this morning. Weather conditions today actually improved a little bit from central and southern New Jersey and points southward, but more clouds are coming in and we've got more rain to deal with. Here's the radar. And in fact, rain is now moving across northern Pennsylvania and upstate New York. It's going to go to our north at first and then gradually fill in later tonight and on Thursday in areas to the south. Uh, And speaking of the south, you can see the heavy rain and thunderstorms that are occurring uh, from uh, the northeast corner, actually into into, uh, east central Tennessee, uh, down in through Alabama, a lot of flash flood warnings up in Mississippi and also in southeast Louisiana. Uh, Even though uh, you know, this you don't like to see areas getting uh, many inches of rain. The area in the Gulf states still under an exceptional, an exceptional, an exceptional, or an excessive drought. So this rainfall actually quite beneficial for that. And we've got action coming into the West Coast as well with weather systems that are moving in from off the ocean. The uh, weather, the Storm Prediction Center has a let me see if this has been updated. Uh, it has. So they have a marginal risk of severe weather uh, indicated uh, from the coastal bend of, of Texas, from South Texas, all the way up uh, through Louisiana into Mississippi and Alabama. They had an earlier, they had a slight risk in southeastern Louisiana, but that has now gone away. Now for tomorrow, the marginal risk moves up through uh, northern Alabama, going just slightly into South Central Tennessee, covering much of central and southern Mississippi, uh, about the southeastern half of Louisiana, eastward to the Florida Panhandle. And then on day three, no thunderstorms or no severe weather is expected at this time. We do have an area of general thunderstorms from East Texas on up into southern Virginia. Rainfall amounts. Remember, many of these areas have all gotten several inches or more, so an additional several inches or more is forecast uh, from Louisiana northeastward into northern Georgia and eastern Tennessee. In the northeast, we go from a half an inch of of liquid precip in Maine uh, to uh, areas of an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half plus from southern New England across to New Jersey and southeastern Pennsylvania. And this, by the way, is a seven-day rainfall forecast map, so that takes us through next Tuesday night. So that includes a system coming for Sunday into Monday. Uh, Lesser amounts as you uh, go west into the Ohio Valley and the lower Great Lakes, and uh, anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a quarter across Missouri, Arkansas, uh, through southern Kansas and into Oklahoma. In the west, it's several to many inches from just north of San Francisco, northward up the coast to Seattle, and then beyond that in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, snow of from the weather prediction, folks, this is the probability of at least two inches. And we see a high probability in central and northern Maine uh, for a two-inch snowfall. And out in the west, we 
again, have sort of a peppering of areas uh, from the Rockies westward to the west coast, mostly in the higher elevations, where there's a probability of at least two inches. So we'll put up the probability of four, and, it's, and you know, the numbers here, here are really not all that high. Uh, we do actually have a higher probability for at least four showing up 50% or higher for central and for northern Maine. And as far as the long range, and this was an earlier forecast from WPC, so this was done on overnight guidance. Uh, they've got, this is for Sunday into Monday morning. So uh, northwest Jersey, northeast Pennsylvania, the Hudson Valley, mainly just, just along and north of Route 84. Same goes in Connecticut. Uh, the light green is a 10 to 30 percent chance for at least a few inches. The dark green is a 30 to 50 percent chance. And you see that in the Catskills and the Berkshires. And uh, the uh, area also extends of 10 to 30 percent northward into central New Hampshire and throughout uh, southern and coastal Maine. I imagine that this might wind up getting uh, updated just a little bit. So I'm going to start with the GFS and take you through. Uh, tonight, uh, and uh, there's our area of snow uh, that is up in uh, Vermont, New Hampshire. Rain, as we showed you on the radar, spreading in now, first going to the north and then gradually filling in uh, to the south during the overnight and on Thursday morning. That wave goes out. We've got yet another wave of low pressure in Missouri that goes into, 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 into Indiana. More rain coming up for later Thursday afternoon into early Friday morning. Weather conditions will start to improve later on Friday, but here comes low pressure out of Texas that moves eastward uh, into Kentucky and West Virginia. Now, um, at least initially, we don't have any cold air. Uh, however, uh, there is a high coming down into eastern Canada over James Bay. You can see it there on the upper right. And we, we had a situation a couple of weeks ago where models were showing a high coming down uh, and it turned out to be a, a lot weaker than what was being forecast. And as a result, most of what snow fell was really in areas uh, well inland of the coast. Uh, this one might have a chance to be a little bit more important uh, Sunday night into Monday, in which case cold air could possibly drain southward. The GFS is sort of eh with, with this system. Uh, the European is a bit more vigorous and... Uh, a bit colder. And just remember that on the Tropical Tidbit site, uh, these this is not rain. This is actually total precip that's being shown. It does not show precipitation type, but it does show a more vigorous low uh, coming uh, into eastern Tennessee and then uh, into western North Carolina, comes off the coast of Virginia. Uh, so it's a little bit further south and the high to the north is actually a little bit stronger. Uh, allowing for cold air to drain southward. I'll just tell you this: uh, if for this to, to if for this to happen, it's really going to have to time perfectly, and that high has to be as at least as strong as the models are indicating. Because if it's not, then this is going to be primarily a rain event near the coast, and maybe rain changing to snow for inland areas. So for now, I'm just going to take I'm going to be Switzerland about this. I'm just going to be neutral. And it's Wednesday, so we have many runs of model, model runs to look at. Uh, I think tomorrow we may get a clue as to how this, uh, how this is all going to play out. But uh, we will talk about this in great detail tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast. Again, the start time tonight is at 8 p.m. Eastern time, not the usual 7.35, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So mark that down, and we'll see you tonight.